Hey guys, it's me Ram here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing some two by two walkthrough solves with some very special guests, Anthony Patrakis and Brendan Lynn. Hi everyone, Anthony here, and this will be my reconstructions for Ram's two by two video. So let's get right into the scrambles. My name is Brendan Lynn, and I'm the current two by two Canadian record holder. I've been keeping for around six years, and I know different outs sets such as EG. Uh, some LEG1, very few cases to be honest because I forgot most of them. Uh, TCLL, uh, which I have learned and relearned it twice. And I'm one of those 2x2 that uses the stickered version of the Vogue 2, even though I have like a stickerless one, which everyone else prefers. But the thing is, I don't know, I just prefer it better for some reason. And this is literally like the only WCA event where I use a stickered cube, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for Ram for letting me be a part of this and I can't wait to get into the scrambles. Alright, so on this first scramble here, I spot you can just do 3 moves like this into anti soon with no AUF. I really don't see anything better, so what I just end up doing is this, you and then anti soon, no AUF. So this is the first scramble, right off the bat I see blue, 3 moves, and it's 2 gens so that's pretty good. Let, let, let's look a bit further, you got this. So yeah, I think I'd definitely do blue, but here it's a bit unclear as to how I would execute it because that's something I'm very picky about. It's from what angle I'd execute it, but I'd probably go and do it like this. And then... For scramble one, I don't think there's any time to waste. Yellow doesn't look good right away, but blue you can do an RU prime R2 and then cancel into a back anti soon. So right away I would do that and finger trigger like this. Alright, so on this second scramble here, there's really not much I can spot. It's a pretty bad scramble. I guess what I'd end up doing is 5 moves on blue into an OK EG1. So what I can just do is F prime, U prime, and then insert this, and then you're left with this EG1 with a UAUF. And on to the second scramble. Um, this is an interesting looking scramble with a lot of opposite colors. So white is not good. None of the sides is actually particularly good. Okay, so what I do is I do white just because it's quite an obvious solution or like one of the more obvious solutions and it's quite okay to execute. So I do white like this. And then you have this CLL. For scramble two, I saw that on red, you can make a EG1 bar in the back if you were to do a U2 R from UF. This will leave you with this case with no AUF. Alright, scramble 3 is also pretty terrible, but I actually spot a really nice solution on yellow, at least by my standards. So what I would just do is U prime, F prime, and then R2, U, R2, and then you're left with this pretty good CLL case with a U prime AUF. Okay, so what I do is I do red, and it has a lot of L moves, so this is not usually something that I'd go for, but I'm quite, I would be quite desperate in this scramble, so... I do a red like this, and I saw that I'd get this EG1, and I know that the ALK with left moves for this one actually would skip AUF, so I could, uh, I'd go like this. For scramble three, I saw that on yellow, you could pair this up with a U prime F prime, and then pair up this one on the right with R2 U R2. And then this gives you CLL with the CLL algorithm, um, your hands being positioned right here. All right, so scramble four is actually a really nice scramble. I spot two pretty viable solutions that I would do, one on blue and one on white. So the one on white is basically three moves like this into this pretty easy CLL. And the one on blue is basically just three moves like this into this really nice EG1 case and that's what I'd do most likely. So I would do R2, U, R2, U2 and then go straight into this EG1 algorithm with a UAUF. There are quite a couple things here. Um, so white is okay and you have this TCL that's pre-made but I'm not sure if I know, I think I know the ALK. I mean, okay, I can try it. I think if I were a bit more confident about this CLL, I'd try it, but okay, let's... I think it's this. Wait, um... Yeah. So if I were a bit more confident, that's probably what I'd do in a solve. Otherwise, I'd do white and then this 
CLO, which is very fast and no way UF. For scramble four, I actually think that this TCL minus is actually pretty good. Um, it's important to know that this piece doesn't move. So RUR prime hedge U prime RU to R prime and this piece stayed here. So U prime AUF. So right of the bat, scramble five does look like it could actually be pretty good. However, looking around closely, there's not really any amazing solution, but I can spot something decent on white. So I can just do U and then three moves like this. And then I'm left with this pretty good anti-CLL with no UF. Scramble five. So this is actually one move to being um, two gen. So this makes it two gen and then I'd go like this which gives me an anti soon and then finish it up like that. For scramble five, there were some considerable options such as U2 insert into this EG1. Um, that one is actually not that good now I think about it. But um, what I saw was on yellow, you could do R prime U prime R, insert that at the back and then U2 insert the front. And then now you have a Nicholas with U2 AUF. Scramble six is a scramble that looks pretty bad, but there's actually a really nice solution hidden. So what I could just do is hold it from this angle and then do F, L, U, and then go right into this EG1 algorithm, straight up cancel into it like this, and then finish with the U prime AUF. Um, okay, yeah, this is quite an obvious one. I do white, seeing as I can do an EG1 and it gets an easy case and it cancel moves. So I do it from this angle, F makes this, and then going like that gives this case, which I think most people, even if you are not that into 2 by 2 know, so then you go and you'd cancel the move, which is pretty cool. For scramble six, I saw in yellow, you could do U prime, R2 U prime R prime and do this EG2, which is technically an anti CLL. So I do a U prime, R U prime, and then sledge. Instead of doing R2 F2 R2 into a U, I do a U prime first and then R2 F2 R2. It's a better finger trick in my opinion. All right, so in my opinion, scramble seven is pretty straightforward. You can just do three moves on yellow into this pretty good EG1 case. And then you finish with the U prime AUF. So the first thing I see is one or uh, sorry, <laughs> I forget what colors are. Um, uh, yellow, which gives this case, which is pretty good. Um, objectively, it's pretty good, but I've a tendency to mess that up, <laughs> apparently. Um, and actually, looking further, it doesn't look like there's much else. Uh, that's that you know can be good. Orange is not good, and white is like okay but not that okay so yeah I just go for yellow I do this and then the EG1 goes like this scramble 7 is quite standard because on yellow you can make a 3 move face with the EG1 bar in the back with this seal up right here um, there's also other things like white, red, but because this was so obvious and it's guaranteed to be easy I'd prepare myself and brace myself for this easy solution all right, so scramble eight is another one that doesn't look too good, but I can spot a weird face that would lead me to a really nice EG1. So I can hold it from this angle and then do L, U, L2, U, L prime. And then I'm just left with this really nice pi EG1, U prime AUF. This scramble is giving me anxiety that I'm forgetting how to one look. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, I do red because I see it gives a pretty good case. So I do this, this, and then I'd solve the layer like that. And then you get this case, which I saw it would not it would not give me a UF, which is always nice. On scramble eight, I noticed that on red, you could make a bar with F and then do a U prime, R to U prime R to make the CLL layer. However, there are two options here. One, you could do this, or two, you could do U and then lefty sexy slash. What I would do is, let me show you. So on red, I would do the exact same thing, but because I'm gonna regrip here, F, regrip. My fingers are better positioned for the lefty sexy sledge rather than another regrip for this. I could go right into this with a U2. One regrip instead. All right, so on scramble nine here, the best thing I can spot is four moves into an Ortega PBL on blue. So what you can do is U prime, R prime, U prime. But then instead of just doing the last R prime, you can cancel into this Ortega case by doing R, U prime, B2, U2, and then finish off. Wow, Ram did really really did a good job at picking out the world scrambles guys I must say none of them have been particularly good okay so for this one I would do TCLL uh, which is three moves 
which gives me this case which I think goes like this and I was right and U2 AUF. For Scramble 9 I see that you could do F prime, U prime, and then R2 U prime R2 to make the EG1 bar in the back but I'd actually execute the R2 U prime R2 like this so I could go right into this algorithm like this. Alright so my solution on Scramble 10 starts off pretty weirdly but it ends off really nicely. So what you can do is this 6 move layer on green by doing U prime and then R U R U R prime and then you're just left with F sec C F prime and U prime A U F. Scramble 10 almost there guys. Okay this is like finally like a, a more normal scramble. This one has definitely multiple things that are good so red uh, and then also um, green I think I did it right. Anyways I'd go for green uh, probably. Let's see if if there's anything else, yeah, blue is okay. Um, like that'd be a doable solution if there weren't any other good ones. And then white as well. So there's a lot of good things, but I'd probably go for green and do it like that. And then I'd probably cancel and do it like this. For scramble 10, I see that you can do a U prime R to put this here, and then U prime R U R prime, and F sex F prime into U prime A U F. Alright, scramble 11, I can spot a pretty good 2 move layer on green into a really nice CLL algorithm. Most people don't like it because of the high move count but I can actually spam it pretty nicely. So what I would do is hold it from this angle and then do F2 and then cancel right into it. Sexy sled soon. I see something <laughs> that seems tempting but um, okay. Uh, so realistically I'd probably do green and which gives me this case and it allows me to you know take advantage of my TPS otherwise there'd be this cool solution this um, pseudo CLL but yeah that that's a bit unsafe and I'm not that familiar with it but this is a very good case and then no way you have so that's probably what I go for now like an official solve for scramble 11 there are many options you could do this into this which isn't too bad but I'm not that great at spamming that out um, I think what is good is u prime r prime u prime you do have to regrip but that's the only bad part you can cancel into this out all right so on this final scramble here I spot a four move white face into a really nice eg1 so what you can just do is u prime r2 u r prime and then u prime and then you're left with this pretty good eg1 with a u prime and uf and the last one so white you can do this or you can do this both are okay uh, for blue you can do this which is also okay i'd probably go for white and i do it like that because i like this case so and then i do this out so those are my reconstructions for ram's video i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found my reconstructions uh, useful and yeah that's it peace scramble 12 is another scramble with many options for example you could do a three move layer like this and make this um, on white you could do a u prime r to ur prime into this which is pretty good um, that's probably what i would end up with so i would u prime r to ur prime u prime and then this out with the U prime AUF. So that's about it for my 2x2 walkthrough solves featuring Anthony and Brennan. Huge thank you to them for participating in this video and thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.